Mr. Vice President, I don't know how many people know that you, um, let's see, your mother was divorced at a very early age. When I was less than two years of age. That's why you don't remember Omaha. And, no. And uh, did you ever meet your real father? Do you know him? Yes, I did she when remarried, I was. She remarried, I believe. It. My mother remarried, or she married a very outstanding civic leader in Grand Rapids. She had left Omaha and came back to Grand Rapids where her parents were living, and I came back with her. What, what is your stepfather's name? My stepfather's name is Gerald R. Ford. And you took his name. I took his name. Uh, he adopted me when I was in my teens. Oh, that's right. And you, you were uh, born uh, a king, I believe. I right? was born so Leslie, Leslie King, king. Jr. And when <coughs> my mother yeah. remarried, why, I took the name of my stepfather. And actually, t until I was about 17, I didn't know that Gerald R. Ford was not my father. I learned um, indirectly first by uh, inference and then I had a I think an interesting but a very startling experience as a young person would have. I was working at a restaurant across the from the high school where I was going to school and I used to work from 11.30 to 1 and make hamburgs and wash dishes and take the money that people paid for those kind of lousy lunches we served, but uh, anyhow, I, I was standing there working one day in this restaurant my senior year in high school, and I noticed the man standing across the, the rather narrow store, standing in front of the candy counter, stood there for a long time. He was a stranger. And finally, uh, as I was handling some food or washing dishes, he walked across and said, uh, uh, Leslie, I'm your father. I was a little startled first to be uh, identified as Leslie, and then he said, uh, yes, I am your father. I was divorced from your mother. And he said, would you uh, go out to lunch with me? And I was really startled, and I spoke to Bill Scooges, who was a good Greek proprietor of this uh, Hamburg joint. I said, Bill, uh, Something's come up. This gentleman wants to see me. He uh, says he's my father. Um, can I be excused? And Bill Scrooge is, uh, was a very great guy. Uh, said yes. And so I took my apron off and went off and with my uh, real father. He had just come from Riverton, Wyoming, to Detroit to pick up a new Lincoln. And I was working uh, five days a week from 11.30 to 1.00 and one night a week from 7 to 10 for $2 a week plus 50 cents a day for lunch. So I was kind of... Those were the days. Yeah, sure were. <laughs> it, was it awfully strange to look into a man's face and, and look for your own features? Uh, did he resemble you? I think there was a resemblance. Uh, the more difficult uh, part of it was going home that night and telling my stepfather and my mother uh, what had happened and transpired. They were, um, of course, very understanding. He invited me out to Wyoming mm -hmm. uh, after sort of neglecting me for 17 years. That, by the way, that wasn't the moment you found out that you had a well, I true father. Well, I really was it, was uh, had heard, heard some inferences or innuendo that I was, uh, I had a, a real father and I was living with my stepfather. But this was the first time I ever saw him and spoke to him. And, it hadn't sunk in. Uh, uh, you know, I didn't pay much attention because my stepfather, as far as I was concerned, had really brought me up and a good many people at home uh, in Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, thought that we looked alike, uh, that we acted alike, we had the same interests. So it was quite startling to the people in Grand Rapids when it became known that I, that Gerald R. Ford was my stepfather. Did you have any desire to say to him, why haven't you contacted me before? Why did you wait 17 years to talk to him? There was a temptation, but yeah. like uh, in politics, you bite your tongue sometimes when you should, so you won't be impolite. There must have been a slight resentment there then. Uh, uh, I think, I uh, mm -hmm. particularly when I was earning $2 a week and mm -hmm. trying to get through high school, my stepfather was having difficult times, and obviously my real father was uh, doing quite well if he could pick up a new uh, Lincoln or Cadillac. Uh, Gee, yeah, strange situation.